you have the smart people, the, the people, the experience in the room chatting with each other. And so what comes out of that is not, you know, a, like a, a prompt for ChatGPT or something gathered off the internet or, you know, someone new to the game researching something, not really sure what they're seeing. You have people that have been doing this for a while chatting about the most important elements. That's like content gold. So, yes, the, the content is fantastic. But I will say there's also this aspect of business development and direct revenue from a podcast, which is fascinating. And, and what I found is if, if when you're doing your, your guest invites and you're, and you're thinking who can be a, a guest on the show, if, they, if the targeting is hardcore, if the targeting is strict, you don't really have to sell, right? So it's not a sales thing. We're, we're evangelists. We're not, it's not chief revenue officer. That's a different you know, guy or gal. This is evangelism. But I found that if you're speaking to the decision maker – of, of a dream company, dream customer that your company could have. And you're like, these people fit everything. We've designed our tool, our services for them. For like, this is the archetype of who we want to help. You get on a call with them, chances are nine times out of 10, they're already looking for something like yours, or if not, they soon will be. And so there isn't, it's not really a sale. It's, it's like the, the best kind of evangelism where, you met someone and, and now you can connect them with sales. Or the flip side is sales have been trying to talk to these people for a while and they don't want to play the game. They don't want to get on the, the phone call. They're not noticing you. They're not right. You could skip all those games and have the exact person at that giant company. You know, one time we were booking a guest uh, for one of our, our clients and and they want to talk to certain people in large organizations. We found them the exact person in at Southwest Airlines that dealt with the exact thing. That, that their software solves. And they're like, oh my gosh, I've been looking for this forever. Now, you're, now you know. Now you know each other. Now did they, did they sell something? or you know, Other companies too. Like, wow, you know, this giant company, this is exactly the right person I want to talk to. Cool. Take it from there. But now you don't have to play any games and you start off with a relationship. So it's almost like doing a sale with a friend. Hey, guys, guys, this, this is a friend of mine. Please take really good care of her. She's fantastic. Her company's growing. Let's give her the best we can, right? It's a friend sale. It's not, and that's how we want to. That's how we want to do sales. We don't want to do, you know, marketing or sales in, in the sketchy way we used to be doing. Let's just make it like a selling to a friend and working with a friend. And so there's that aspect of it. And then finally, there's community, right? Community's big, and I know you could do a whole episode episodes on community, but there's nothing better for community than podcasting. So podcasting community, they're like force multipliers. You can have a community, but then no one's posting in it. Or you could have a podcast, and that's cool, and people are listening, and you don't know who they are. <laughs> Hello, people listening to this podcast. Say hi to Ethan so he knows who you are. <laughs> uh, do it right now. Um, and, and so when you combine the two, now you have an active community where people can say hi to you, and people can ask you questions, and ask the guests questions, and you're all chatting. So I've found that in this is like a, a cheat code, which is if you're going to have a community, have a podcast. If you're going to have a podcast, have a community. 